Okay guys, it's me Kyle, and so I am playing Minecraft, and what I'm planning to do is, um, pretty much play for a little bit of day, maybe an hour or two, record it, and then post video. Um, yeah, so, basically I built this room in creative mode, because I would played on a, um, other single player survival mode, but... I decided to just like update all my mods and stuff and then, you know, just restart in this room. But I didn't like put a chest down with any items in it, so I'm just gonna like start like this. So yeah. Um I guess I'll start it now. Um so pretty much what I'm going to be doing is like I said, recording about an hour a day. Ooh. And oh my god, hold on a second. All right, like I said, um, recording a little bit day, and I guess just play. Um, I'm really good at like making creative things, and I'm like the master of redstone, pretty much. Not exactly, but yeah. And, um, yeah, so I like making very complex things. And right now, this is getting a little bit boring for me, but I assure you, if you're bored of this right now, it'll get pretty interesting. But yeah, um, for the time being, I'm going to get me some wood. Because that's how you start every Minecraft game, you will. Chop down some trees. Oh, and um, oh, there's a village. Huh. Okay, and some rubber trees over there. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. So yeah, here we go. Um, also, I'm kind of new to build crafts, so if I'm like kind of messing up and stuff. And Transmutation table and the philosopher's stone. 
Philosopher's Stone. I'm gonna plan on using those. Hey, we have like a local fleet farm. And if you ever play multiplayer servers, you know that it's always, I guess, respectful to replant every time you take some wheat or any crop. And that's, that's pretty much just common courtesy. And people don't like it when you don't replant their crops. So yeah. And we head over here to, oh, also I think I should explain some stuff about myself. Um, I am 18. I'm a senior in high school. Um, I can program Java a little bit. And it's like five facts, but yeah. process of making a, a game on Java, but I need lots of help. I think that's pretty much how I'm going to explain it, but yeah, that's pretty much as, it, as complex as it gets. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not really talkative, but I'm going to try my best to do that. Uh, so we're griefing the heck out of this place. second. I am going to... Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I'm going to be right back. Hold on. Okay, and I'm back. Oh no. Wrong buttons. Okay. Um, I am back. You may notice that there is a minimap on my screen, and what that is is my I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's Ray's minimap right here. You can change the texture, change the shape, and do many things. Always doing this right here. And you can do that or just normal. I like to put mine in the upper left. I think, if I have this right, that's the side that whenever you play a Call of Duty game, that's where the map will always be. Now, I usually have the key configuration to toggle zoom is one. I don't do that or that, and then this will be E. And those of you who do not know, my controls for inventory is always high. What would happen was, is back when I first started playing this game, is I would set the inventory to I, I don't know why, I just did that, and then I got so used to it that whenever I started like a fresh Minecraft file, I never ever got used to using the E, and I think, I don't know, I, it just, it was weird, I might need to do that, that, that might, if I set it back to E, might be a little bit better. I never realized that, but yeah. Um, so that's just, you know. I'm gonna go in here. I'm gonna set my waypoint for this. Some. Um, oops. Waypoints add. And what I do is I set all the way to red, which is my house. There you go. And then you have a waypoint. Oh wow, they updated that. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yep. So that's there. Uh, that's actually pretty awesome. And yeah, so I stole some some um furnaces. And what I like to do from the plug-in from Red Power is chop down these rubber trees because you get a bunch of sticks. That's all you get sticks. And when you do that, you don't really have to like, you know, put down the, um, two planks to make four sticks, I think this is four by itself, eight, that's a bunch of sticks, yes, it's eight, of course, and then you get these if you want planks, so plank trees and stick trees, these are actually red power trees, but might as well be stick trees. 
NPC village. And yeah. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to suggest this, but I think we're gonna talk about what I like about this game. So when I began playing this game, it was right after I pretty much stopped playing Renscape. And I had forty nine mil was level 117 or something, I forgot, but yeah. And I was two levels away from 99 attack. And that game, like, was time consuming, it wasn't like fun, it was grinding-ish, it was um, filled with 12 year olds. Well, pretty much every game is filled with 12 year olds, but you know what I'm talking about. And I, I just, I can't really deal with the Jagex anymore because they're like the Infinity Ward of games. And, I mean, the Infinity Award of Dungeon and Dragons, I guess. And they just, they just didn't really do it for me, so, yeah. Also, yeah, so this game, what I like about this game is the fact that you can set blocks like this. You know, just do that. That's, that's pretty amazing. I've never ever played a game where you can manipulate the environment as much as you could, even more than games like Grand Theft Auto, which you could do a bunch in that game. Um, also, games that have come across like Battlefront, I mean Battlefield, they have destructive environments, and I like being able to manipulate my environment, which is basically why I like this game so much. Um, I am. I may be hosting a server like in a few months and it will have all these plugins I have and of course in every server I like to be able to use the back command it's B-A-C-K back you know what I'm talking about when you die and you just wish you could go back to that point where you where you died instead of having to walk all the way where you were but um, yeah and the bad thing about that is, is that in servers you usually die and go to the spawn, the beds don't usually work, or they don't really incorporate beds like that, and that's, that's just not really that fun, so yeah, and I will be making very intricate structures, maybe off of this building, um, how I don't know how to, um, wow, they found updates, I didn't know you could do that, weird, okay, yeah, I didn't know, oh, what did, what did that do, did that just turn it off, yeah, I just want to be able to, like, okay, so you can toggle it, or change the color. Alright. Well, I would like it to be red. That would be nice. Come on. Uh, I guess that'll be it. And it's getting night out again. That's... Oh! We don't have to worry about that. Um, one thing... I'm just going to critique... Um... Direwolf's videos not in a bad way though, um, just critique them. One thing that kind of I didn't really like understand is every time it became nighttime he would go and sleep in his bed. I didn't really understand. I mean I know why, because there's monsters outside, but you know, in real life for me, if it gets dark outside I I spend usually the whole night or as much as the night I can to stockpile or do as much as I can that I am interested. Um, that was my mom, if you could hear. Um, yeah, but he would go to sleep the second he could. And for me in real life, I just no life, whatever I'm doing at the time. And as you can see, I made a automatic crafting table, and you can do this, leave items in there, and then. 
yeah, it's it's like um an inventory where you can keep items pretty much. It's pretty awesome. Now, one thing I like to do when I start games is make a double chest like that and set it. Oops. I'm lagging a little bit. It usually doesn't happen. What would happen usually is while I'm playing and recording, um, or playing a bunch of copper, my computer will overheat and just shut off, which is not very good. I mean, it's not a bad computer, it's just, here I'll show you. We'll open my task manager, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, First off, this game is run in Java, and it is a bunch of threads. You have a bunch of threads, you have a bunch of memory usage, like this. One million, whatever is in memory, I think it's bytes, it seems like bytes. So, yeah, it's just that many bytes, and that's a bunch of bytes, you know. When you have a bunch of bytes and your computer is overheating, it shuts off. And it sucks. But hopefully my Camtasia camcorder will um, save the um, file before, well it's always saving it, but at the time of shut off it will save it and I will continue from there. Usually I will tell you what happens if that ever happens, because you'll see a cut in the video of me like where it was at, but then explaining to you that my computer crashed. Yep. It's a Toshiba satellite and it has like some good specs and whatever, but yeah. Um, so I'm gonna give you some tips, I think. I don't, I mean, I have, um, hang on, let me do this. I have, um, uh, not enough items, and it's gonna help me a lot with the recipes. It helped me a bunch when I didn't know the mods at all. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open our inventory, press O. I think it's O. Strange. Um. Ah. Okay. Now we can search anything we want. I think. Oh, there trans. Ah, oh, yes, that comes up finally. Now, what I'm going to do is. Uh. Oh, let's focus again. Great. I'm going to look for a macerator. Is that right? Yeah. Macerator. Now this isn't what I'm going to build right away because this right here requires rubber. And we will need six rubber for this kind of thing. Um, we will need an extractor. What this does is it helps us extract rubber from I'm I'm just spacing out here. Wow. It allows you to extract rubber from resin. That's it. Resin that is in the rubber trees. Now the rubber trees <coughs> they usually spawn in biomes like swamps. And I think Yeah, so once we make the rubber and we go out well I go here and mine a little bit, we will eventually be able to make a macerator. Now macerators will give us two items called dusts and dusts. Th those will those will give you like when you re-smelt them will give you pretty much double the ore block that you had. Now how it works is like this. You go out and you mine one iron ore. When you put them in one iron ore in a macerator going to get two iron dusts, and that will allow you to make two iron bars. Now if you stick an iron bar in the macerator, it'll only give you one dust back. You see how it goes like that. And so that's how that works, and then from then on you pretty much only use the macerator to put your raw materials in, and then just go on from there. Now, another thing is, is that you can stick other items like gravel in the macerator and you will get out flint. And flint, that is used for
for making industrial diamonds. And it takes like it's like a long process and it's it's very slow and it's very like not worth going out with a divining rod. Cause if you do a divining rod instead, you'll have better you know, just better um chances of getting the diamond rather than doing it from hand. And it takes about depending on how much coal you get and then converting it into compressed coal or whatever, coal lumps and stuff. I'll show you. Here we go. Coal. These things. Coal dust into coal balls into coal chunks will eventually go into oh, compressed coal balls and then coal chunk. will eventually turn into What can I say? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear out this stuff and hopefully get a sap. I should have probably brought my um pre tap or made one at least. Alright. Knock down some leaves. Um also one thing I wanna talk about else is pretty much well I say pretty much a lot too, but pretty much just with the goal to have for this let's play. Like, I realized that Direwolf didn't really have a goal, he just played and he, he was really good at playing actually. 
my game, so I hope this guy this helps you guys with the game too. Um, so yeah, um, my goal is to one get to creating a nuclear reactor from scratch. Two. a bunch of raw materials and oops, three I guess finally getting the um, nano suit armor or the quantum I don't remember which one had special effects but which one has special effects I look like and then lastly maybe getting a mining laser or something not sure yet or maybe both a mining laser and something So yeah, also, if you hear anybody in the background, that's just my stepdad or my mom, don't worry about them, at all. I probably cut out whenever they talk to me, but yeah. Um, so that's pretty much it, ooh, a sapling, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think, alright, let me explain something else. I played on a server that you might be able to get to if I tell you the name right now, which is Marine, Marine Iguana. Type that in, all in word, um, and go to that server. That's a fun server. Eventually, when the bucket server gets bucket server also, but whenever they get eventually updated, um, like all the plugins and stuff get updated, he will start up that server to have industrial craft. And when he has industrial craft, then everybody will have fun. Um, if you go donate or whatever, then maybe the um, people count, which is right now 16, will rise, and then the people's paying for it will eventually like not have to put a limit on the people or have like a thousand slots. But yeah. Um, also, I'm an admin on that server, I guess. Yeah. But I'm not really trying to brag here, I'm sorry, but um also um yeah, I just played my heart out on the server. That this game is fun, I just can't believe it. Especially servers, what can I say? Um see so yeah, I wanted to make a tree tab. Like so and if this is new to you, you'll probably be scared of all the recipes that there are. But don't worry about that because eventually if you get not enough items, which I will explain how to download certain things in your Minecraft folder, um, and or Minecraft jar, and all that stuff, you will figure out that it's not as hard as it is, and you'll eventually be playing this while multitasking with YouTube to listen to me talk, I guess. I don't, I'm not sure. I'm not really accustomed to my voice, but yeah. And mistake situation. Another thing I hate is I think when you use an item that degrades a certain way, like um, tree taps are for uh, resin, but if you don't use it for that purpose, they still degrade. Like if I were to do this dirt out with the tree tap, it would probably degrade. I think I'm not too sure. Ooh, double. That's awesome. Yeah. And I will be making my rubber farm, rub rubber tree farm by hand. I'm not gonna be using well I don't know how to use it, but the um this the rubber tree farm thing for uh what's it call it? Uh the agriculture mod, it's uh come on man, I forgot what it was, but it's like farming I could look it up but I'm not going to. And I'm going the wrong direction, yep. Um, agricole. No. Something like that, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's pretty much how it goes down. So right now I'm at the uh, 30 minute mark. I think I can post 30 minute videos, I hope I can. Um, yeah, so this is Kyle, by the way, if, if you caught in the middle of the video. And yeah. So I'm going to turn this into bone meal. And... 
to go behind. Ugh. It's 8.46 here. I got like 15 minutes left, but yeah. Um, here we go. Rubber tree farm time. Let's go do this. Put this here. Put there. Oh, wait. Let me get this. Okay. Let's go plant this. Now, one thing I would advise for myself to get a sickle and to get a, um, a farm going. Like a normal, standard, um, vanilla craft farm. Like you see at the, um, NPC villages. Oh, hey, water. That's good. Alright, guys. I guess it's time for me to just like wrap all this up. But as you can see, I got.